Hey guys, welcome to Lavender Hazelwood. I am Aurora. So I thought I would introduce you to a moon calendar if you haven't heard of it. They're not too hard to, to create yourself. I made this with a bunch of clip art and uh, this one is for April and May. So this would have been April 30th and then it goes to May 1st and then around, around the moon cycle. So we have the first quarter, full moon, third quarter, and then new moon. And all of these spikes represent days. So you can keep track of all different kinds of things in a moon calendar. Let me, let me show you. So first I like to start off with a little circle in the middle. And this circle is going to keep track of all of my, um, will be, keep track of my, my monthly cycle. So let's draw a circle here. You can pick whatever you want to represent your cycle. Um, I like to do just seriously a little dot. So let's say, let's say this day is the start of it. Um, and then it lasted, let's say five days. And then um, you can use a C. I get cramps either the day before or the day of when it starts. So I can put a C here or a C here. So I know that. Um, the other way you can kind of denote it, if you like, is by using colors. So maybe, you know, the strongest day is, starts here. So I would color this in dark and then, and then the next day would be a little bit lighter. And then the next day a little lighter. And then lighter and lightest. So we'll say that represents the cycle. And then if you wanted to, to denote like your, your ovulation day, maybe you put a little zero or an O. And then I also have a, a key, a moon calendar key. So I would just write in, okay, here's the dot. And that symbol is my period. And then I had a C for cramps <laughs> and then an O for ovulation and then I would go on to my next circle I'm gonna do it orange this time and this this circle I like to represent my inner inner world like my feelings hopefully you can see that so here I would put down something like let's say I was I wanted to keep track of my my good days and my bad days or my happy days and my depressive days and let's say I had you know a depressed day day here I'm just gonna symbolize that let's say with a broken heart and then let's say it lasted for four days so I'm symbolizing my inner world in here with the broken heart. If it got, let's say, if it decreased, maybe I would just do an arrow this way, going clockwise. And let's say there was an increase, the arrow would go the other way. And then let's say I had a good day, like a happy feeling day, then I would just maybe put a, a heart there. So you can do things like that for keeping track of your feelings, and then you can see how it correlates to your cycle and then the moon phase. So you sort of are getting getting an idea of how things affect you in your life. So let's add those symbols to our key. So we have oh, a broken heart <laughs> for sad, a heart for happy. We had an arrow going this way for um, increase. And let's say an arrow going this way for decrease of anything. Okay, so then what else might I put in there? You could keep track of your dreams. Let's say you had a really intense, informative dream somewhere. You know, you could put a D here for dream. And then you'd be able to go back to your, your dream journal and on that day you could, you'd know, oh, I had this dream on that day. 
Or maybe you had a great intuitive hit somewhere, and maybe you, that is represented by an eye. And again, you, you would go back to your notebook or your journal, and then you would have the date for that there. So let's say D equals dream, I equals intuition. We then move to the outer world, the outer circle, the physical world. You know, maybe you're keeping track of your meditation. And there was a cute little symbol in um, the moon is my calendar.com that I saw, which is like this infinity symbol for crossed legs, little dome, and then a, a circle. So it's like somebody's meditating. So maybe you keep track of that as your, as your way of meditating, or maybe you do yoga, keep track of your physical health. So maybe those are two little symbols that you use. Again, go back to your key meditation, yoga. You could, maybe you plant some seeds on this day so you could have a little leaf, especially if you were planting something with a correspondence and you wanted to see how it grew. You know, you can use colors accordingly if you like, I'll do that one green. You know, so there's a bunch of things that you could sort of keep track of. Track of. Maybe, maybe your water intake, so you have a little droplet water here, how well you're sleeping, how well you're not sleeping, maybe there's a big that for for a bad sleep day. You know, if there's a great event that you've recorded that you want to remember, there's so many ways to kind of keep track of different things in, um, in your world. So I thought I'd give you a rundown of what um, a moon calendar could look like for you. You could put it in your bullet journal or wherever, maybe you start a separate calendar system for yourself but I hope that gives you some ideas maybe you're 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 keeping track of your spells this way too that's an easy way to to use that like maybe you cast something on the new moon you put a little witch hat up here you know like I said it's a great way to sort of keep track of different things according to the moon cycles and uh, if you have any questions comment leave them in the comments section below and then um, I will answer them. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.